All right, as always, please remember, pause the video at any time. Make sure you're taking lots of notes. Uh, fast forward, rewind as much as you need. This is your video, so go ahead and do what you need to do. Let's go ahead and get started. We are discussing this week different forms of energy. We're going to go ahead and uh, do our third type, which is chemical energy. So get your notebooks and pencils ready to copy down your learning goal. The learning goal today, I know common sources of chemical energy. Write that down, number three, give me your three boxes. Put a scale score inside your first box. Pause now to copy that down. When you're ready, go ahead and press play. Okay, you should have copied down your learning goal. Let's go ahead and get started. Chemical energy, this is a simple one today. It is stored energy waiting to be released. Three easy examples to remember are batteries. Batteries inside of there is chemical energy. It's not doing anything until you plug it into your video game, until you plug it into your, to your CD player. It's stored energy waiting to be released. Uh, battery uses a chemical reaction with substances inside to release electricity. Another example, food. You know that food gives you energy, which means inside the food, <clears throat> there's energy stored waiting to be released but you don't put it into a video game to use it, what do you have to do? You gotta eat it. The apple has energy on the inside. Now once you eat it and you swallow it and your digestive system does its work, like we learned about in the human body unit, it will give your body energy that you can use to run and play and hopefully not talk too much. Another easy one to think of is anything that will burn. Gasoline that goes in your parents' car, campfires, matches, paper, anything that can burn has stored energy inside. And when you set it on fire, that energy is released. Now, that can also release uh, heat energy and light energy, but the fuel sitting in the tank, the paper or the log sitting before it's on fire, has stored chemical energy. It's just waiting to be released. Make sure you write that down. So here's what I want you doing today. Please go ahead and get on to Discovery Education and look at the glossary term for chemical energy. There's not a lot of materials in this section. Go ahead and view as many as you can. <clears throat> Make sure when you look at the glossary term, you, you watch the animation, look at the video, look at the definition, everything it has to offer. Once you've looked at uh, all the resources you want, I want you to tell me what is the definition of chemical energy. Remember always in your words. I don't want you to copy down the definition from Discovery Education. I can do that if I wanted to. And make sure you have two examples of chemical energy in your world, in your daily life. Where do you find stored energy waiting to be released? I bet you can think of a few. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Otherwise, go ahead and get to work.